without your knowledge of them knowing each other. Do you understand? And for the life of me, <laughs> I don't understand how someone can get caught doing that and think that could be brushed under the rug. Picture this. You are in a fraudulent marriage and then, which I'm not aware of, okay? And then you invite a mistress Let's, let's take a minute to be transparent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> let's speak about, let's speak about you saying she was your aunt. Let's speak about you were on in cahoots with someone she calls she calls family too. Let's speak about The harem. I said the harem. And the coven. Going back to the card. Like minded. People. Group. Some people in your life come into your life with the intention of initiating you transparently speaking into their mess. I said their mess. Do you understand? Just because you slipped and said I do due to the love spells does not require for you to Submit and accept to participate in any diabolical connection. There are incubus and succubus. With intention of robbing you of your soul's purpose, of sacrificing you to demonic forces. This is why, regardless of the hate 
regardless of the seclusion. Regardless of the opposition. I wake up every day with respect and compassion for myself. I wake up every day with respect and compassion for myself because I make my own decisions. Because I say no when I want to say no. Because no one but God guides me. And so when you want to be in that energy of respect, And compassion. Allow God. I said. Invite God. Honor God. And allow him. To be your guide. Not a fraudulent husband. Not a fake spiritual teacher. Not a greedy family member. Only God is God is God. Respect and compassion. Next card. When. Okay, this is this is the my interpretation of this card. When you put God first, you will be given knowledge of all things hidden. Answers that are true about earthly matters. That's in relationship to, you know, That's in relation to like your relationships and who you interact with and, you know, things that are earthly matters. You'll be given true answers about earthly matters or matters regarding the divine. Okay, the spiritual world, you know, different things. Different things. That assist you with guidance. But in order. To be aligned. To have such connections. Or to be in the circles. Of those. Who are true. In their walk. (laughs) You better know. I said you better know. And if you don't know. You better ask God for the spirit of discernment to tell you who is walking in their truth and who is running game. I said somebody better ask God who is walking in their truth and who is running game. Moving on. Next card. Jealousy 
ill will from people around you. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. You see? And this is why this is just confirming what I was just saying. That you better know the people that you have in your circles. And let me give you some wisdom. Those of you that connect with toxic people that are attacking others and you feel you are safe because they're not doing it to you. They're doing it to somebody else. Can I be honest with you? Because that's the only thing I'm willing to do. Let me be the first to tell you, you are next. <laughs> I said you are next. As you witness that something wrong, that whenever it involves a person in particular, you're witnessing that something is undeniably wrong. Like they're not right up there. Well, it doesn't stop there. If someone is disturbed, it doesn't stop there. And so in your connection of low vibration, understand you are inviting <laughs> You are inviting yourself to be next in line. Keep that in mind. Next card. A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride. Without dignity. Confucius. Now. This is telling me. And as I. As I move further. And, and interpret. What vibe I'm getting for this card. I'm being called. To tell all the women that have been emotionally abused, physically abused, financially abused, sexually abused. All that fall under the category of abuse. I want you to hug yourself right now. I want you to give yourself a real hug. And I want you to tell yourself it's going to be okay. It's going to be Okay. And God is telling me to tell you. Look at grace on a journey. Look at what she overcame. Look at. Her rise. And this is why all of you who go through trials and tribulations, always keep in mind that you should visit all the persons.